AI tools are popping up all over the place and are changing the way that we engage in business related activities. One AI tool that I've started using in my business is Canva's free AI image generator called the text to image app. And today I'm going to briefly share how you can use the text to image app to generate unique AI driven images for your business or personal projects. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and generate unique images with Canva's text to image tool. Now in order to access this AI tool, all you need is a free Canva account or a Canva Pro, Canva Not For Profits or Canva For Education account. If you currently do not have a Canva account, simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com and go ahead and sign up for either a free account or a Canva Pro account. Now once you've signed up or signed into your Canva account, you'll be taken to your Canva dashboard. And here we just want to quickly cover two ways that you can access the text to image app. First, what we can do is navigate up to apps over on the left hand side, then simply navigate down here. And if you cannot see the text to image app, simply navigate up to search apps and type in text to image and that app will appear. I'm going to navigate down and click on text to image. And here we have two options. We can generate AI images with an existing design that we've already created or we can use in a new design. For example, if I go ahead and click on in new design and I can search for the type of media that I want to create, or I can choose a custom size or navigate down the suggested options. Now, if you're completely new to Canva, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get started and understand all the different tools and features that Canva has to offer. Okay, so back here, what I'm gonna do is navigate back up to the top and type in Instagram and then click on Instagram post square. And that's going to generate a fresh Instagram post template that we can now use the text to image app with. And as you can see, we have the text to image app over here. Now, first, before we dive into this app, what I'm going to do is navigate back over to home. And what I can do is either navigate down and choose an existing design, or I can create a new design from Canva's templates, or I can create a custom size. And all I would do is add my design dimensions in here. However, again, what I'm going to do is navigate over here and search for a template. Let's go ahead and select Instagram post again. Then what I can do is navigate through all the Instagram post templates and choose one I like the look of, or I can navigate over to the left hand side and filter through the different templates based on the different options over here, or I can create a blank Instagram post. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, The Ultimate Small Business Playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then once you've arrived on a blank template like this or you've selected an existing design, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate apps and then navigate up to search Canva apps and this is where we want to type in text to image and that's going to generate the text to image app. Now I can see it down here so I'm going to go ahead and click on text to image and that's going to allow me to start leveraging the text to image app. Now with the text to image app, what we're doing is adding a text prompt. Think about the type of image, the type of content that you want to create. You can use AI to generate that content. And the more details that you add to your prompt, the more accurate and exciting that the image will be. For example, what I can do is try an example. And as you can see, this is an example of a post ambulance driving in the streets of New York in the 19th century. Now, before we generate this image, we also have a few other options. We can choose a style. So think about the theme and style of the images that you want to create. For example, if you're creating a blog post, you want all your images that are generated with AI to have the same flow, the same theme and the same style. 
And you can see we have a few options over here. We can also click on see all. I'm gonna navigate down and click on photo. And then below styles, we have aspect ratio. At the moment, we have square selected. However, we can generate images with our prompt that are landscape or portrait. Now, it's important to note that if you're using Canva Pro, Canva not-for-profits, or Canva for education, then you have access to 500 credits or uses per month. And on the other hand, if you're using Canva's completely free plan, then users have only 50 lifetime users or credits. Meaning that once you've run out of your 50 lifetime credits, you will not get new credits. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate this image and the style that we selected as well as the aspect ratio. I'm gonna navigate down and click on create your image. Give Canva a moment to generate your AI driven image. And as you can see, Canva will generate four unique images that you can use in your content. Now we can also navigate down and customize the prompt and we have the option to create again. We can regenerate these images. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create again. And as you can see, I have four new images. Now to use these images, all I would do is click on the image and I want this image to fit the entire page. So I'm gonna drag out the corners. And the great thing about Canva is now I can start customizing this image. I can navigate up to edit photo and I have all of these different editing options. Now I talk more about all the different editing features and options in my complete Canva tutorial, which I link down below in the description. What I can also do is add elements if I like and I can search for those specific elements or I can navigate down and add text. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just add this default style heading. And I'm gonna go ahead and add New York City, 19th century. And I'm happy with that. Now what I can do is drag and drop. I'm gonna make that smaller. And I'm also gonna go ahead and change the color to black. As you can see, the color is white at the moment. I'm gonna go down and click on black and then drag that over here. And I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate down and add a new page and then navigate over to the left hand side and locate text to image again. And this time I'm gonna add something different. And let's say this time I wanna create an Instagram post about productivity. So I wanna create an image of a man working at a computer desk looking frustrated. So this is if you do not use the tools that I'm gonna recommend in this Instagram post. And this is just an example of how you can use the text to image app for your marketing assets. Now I'm gonna navigate down and click on photo again and then click on create your image. And as you can see, Canva has generated these four images. Now, depending on the Canva plan that you're using, if you navigate down to the bottom, you can see all your credits and how many you've used this month. So one credit will generate four images. Now, I actually like the look of this image here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this image and then drag the corners up. And now I want to navigate up to text. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this simple heading and add don't be like this guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and resize this text element and then place that up here. Again, I can navigate over to elements if I like, and I'm gonna navigate across and use this simple arrow, drag that, resize it, and add that in here. And this is a simple image that I created with Canva's text to image app, as well as with other elements. And I could use this in my productivity posts on social media. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and quickly add page and then navigate back over to text to image. And this time I'm gonna select on styles and let's try minimalist and then create again. And as you can see, that's gonna generate a more minimalist version of this prompt that I added in here. So why would you want to use AI generated images? Well, first you can be as creative as you like, and you can use this AI image generator to create images that you cannot find in the Canva library. It's also great for researching and testing ideas using AI generated images. And the great thing is you can use these unique AI generated images for personal and commercial use. Now, it's important to note that you do not have the exclusive rights to the images that you generate using Canva. And this is the main issue with AI generated images. There is no clear cut copyright information out there. However, if you wanna learn more about using Canva's text to image app for business use, what I'll do is add a link down below that covers many of the questions that you might have. However, that is it for this brief tutorial, helping you get started with AI generated images using Canva's text to image app. Remember, you can be as creative as you like and you can use this tool for personal or commercial use. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial helping you generate unique images with Canva's text to image tool. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.